Welcome back to Zach's Travel. So glad you joined me for another video. I have an awesome video for you today. A really quick video. Three places, must three places to eat dinner in Rome. If you're staying there, check these out. Here we go. Number one place that we recommend, I recommend, it is by far the best place that we ate at in Rome. It is called Rosciolis. You do need a reservation. It's a pretty small place. It's in a very quaint area of Rome. You can walk to it if you are staying at Alif or some closer, some hotels nearby. I've got a video on Alif Roma. Um, check that out. I did a whole video on that hotel. I recommend staying there because we walked from there and went down by Trevi Fountain, down by the Pantheon, by some um, squares, some beautiful things you want to see, and just kind of enjoyed ourselves and got to Rocciolis for our dinner. Rocciolis has some amazing, amazing food. You're gonna enjoy your the ambiance, you're gonna enjoy the food, and you've got to try the dessert. And the cacio pepe is to die for. Those are my recommendations. Stay away from Zuppa Tuscana. That's not really a great soup in Rome. You wanna to go to Tuscany to get soup like that, but everything else on the menu was amazing, and we tried several things. Restaurant number two. Old Bear. I know, I know, it's an English name, but some friends of mine said, you have to try this restaurant. You just have to go there. And so we put it on our list, we looked it up, we got the directions, and as you can see on the map where it is, it's, it's pretty close to Alif. It's pretty in a pretty good area, but the food is amazing. We I recommend this one for dinner. I'm gonna put all this down in the description below if it's good for lunch or dinner, but this, one is good for dinner. The ambiance is really amazing. You're gonna love the food. The food is amazing. The staff was amazing. It's in a really quaint, older part of town. It's just, you would never find it if, if you didn't have it recommended to you, or at least I don't think you would have. It's um, two story. It's stone and old and they have amazing, amazing things. Be sure and put this on your list. If you're in Italy, what is the one Italian food that you must eat while you're in Italy? Is pasta the number one thing? Hmm, it's debatable. I would say it's pizza. I mean, in America, especially and around the world, we consume pizza on a daily basis at all different quality levels, from fast food to convenience stores in America, even gas stations, and, um, and then at higher levels, you know, higher quality levels at even some fine dining restaurants, you can get a really well done pizza. Even Gordon Ramsay, arguably one of the, at least the most well-known chefs in all of history, and maybe one of the best chefs in all of history, has a pizza place in London. And I can guarantee you, you are going to experience high quality pizza there versus a 7-Eleven. Um, or you might want to go to a Mod Pizza or Blaze or something more like that that does only pizza and custom personal pizzas. So when you go to Italy, most people want to try the authentic thing, right? Where, where it was born or where a lot of people think it was born, pizza. And so we did a lot of research because there's tons of different options over there as well at quality level. And um, so just a quick tip here. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how to find quality level restaurants if you don't want to try any of these or you need more so be sure and check that out but in all of our research we found this pizza place this pizza place is called Sopori Italis Roma now I'm, I may have just slaughtered that but I'll put all the names and links down below in the description right below the subscribe button which you should hit if you're not a subscriber but this is a really quaint place. It's very close to Alif. If you're staying there, it's one, another video I did. It's one of the hotels we stayed at in, in Rome, Italy. And when you come back from Rome, you won't call it Rome, you'll be Roma, because it's just beautiful. But this is a quaint little pizza place. You can watch them make the pizza. You, you can go in to sit down if you can find a seat. It's a very small. We ordered ours to go. We wanted to take it back to Alif, the hotel, and just kind of watch some TV. We had had a very long, day and days and we wanted to just kind of chill and we ended up watching 
one of the Angels and Demons series with Tom Hanks because it took place in Rome and we found it fascinating that we were seeing some of the stuff from the movie that was in the movie. Anyways, I digress. So we got two different kinds of pizzas. They were very, very good. I mean, some of the best pizza we've had. I wouldn't say it was like any, we had pizza throughout our trip in Rome and I wouldn't say it was like sky rise above here what we get in America. Like Mod Pizza is really good, uh, one of my favorites. But it was very, very good. And it was just good pizza. And, and late at night when you just want to chill in your room, you just want some good pizza and a good Coke. And so that is one of my recommendations for a lower cost. You can stop in there for lunch. You can stop in there for dinner and, and um, sit in there and have your dinner there. It's very um, quaint and very nice. It's a great safe area. When we got back from our cruise, we were back in Rome. We stayed in a different hotel closer to... When we got back from our cruise and we were back in Rome, we stayed at a different hotel because we wanted to try a different hotel in a different area. And we were near the Altalina area. It's across the river. It's, cl it's close to the, um, the Mount of the Stone, which was featured in an old movie. I've never seen it, but a lot of people seem to know it. And we're close to the Colosseum, closer down in that area. More down... Um, southwest and I'll show that on a map so you can see that but it was a hotel called the 47 it's a boutique hotel I highly recommend you do not stay there and I'll be doing a video on that it was a horrible experience they treated us very badly gave us the wrong room would not make it right um, a lot of stuff was broken in the room wasn't functioning and we would definitely recommend just staying in a leaf the whole time you're there or even if you go on a cruise or go away traveling and come back to Rome just stay in a leaf again Restaurante Sete Oche in Atalena I may have butchered that again but I'll put all of these down below so you can check them out this is definitely a place for dinner it's a little bit more costly <clears throat> but very good food very different kind of food um, it's Italian, but it's not just all pasta and stuff. So if you're tired of just pasta, 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 I recommend you check this out. Um, it's in a very quaint area. Like the roads are really tight. We were in a van and I don't know how he even made it through. He was passing through cars. Um, you go downstairs when you get there. It's kind of down in the, in the basement area. I believe they have an upstairs area, but we went down. And it's just very quaint. We set a little two two person table. Amazing food, amazing service. They brought out this amazing steak and cooked it right on the table on this like hot stone. Um, just really a good experience and good food. Great for like a late night. You've had a long day and you just kind of want to go out. Especially if you're there between like April and September when it's kind of warm and just a nice warm cool night um, to go out and have dinner. So I believe they're open for lunch. You can check that out in the link down below, but we went there for dinner and it is a little pricey, but not like you need reservations pricey or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching another Zaka's travel video. I hope this video helped you out to find some awesome places for dinner in Rome. These are must places to try out. Rocioli's and all the ones mentioned in the video are just amazing. Please get reservations and stuff as needed especially the Aubert and Rocioles, and you will really, really thank me for these recommendations. Comment below if you try them, what you tried, how much you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It's free to do so. Cancel at any time. We're going to have tons of travel tips here. I will catch you in the next Zachas travel video. Thank you to all my subscribers. Travel safe. Peace.